Alright jylle, in die vorige gedeelte het um, Nina Mos nou vir Lukas weggehaard lup in die bos. So nou gaan ons aan op laat, 73 en 75. Lukas sê, Meisie kind, stop! Meisie kind, Nina! Elke keer wanneer hy roep, antwoord die voel om. Nina! Dan voel. Nina, wacht vir my! Voel. Lukas' stem word al hoe benauwder. Nina! Nina skater skielik van die lach na by hom. Jou bloody simpel ding. Jy was toch lekker bang, lekker bang, lekker bang. Onbeskofte ding. Jy het toch lekker gesoek na my. Simpel ding. Nina grawe achter die boom. Onthou Lukas, jy het beloof om nie te loop sê nie. Sy het vier leebottels uitgegrawe en was hulle in die stroompie. Lukas kort af. En die goed? Jy sal nou sien. Sy pak hulle in een rij, droog haar hande aan haar slaapend af en sit weidsbene om die bottels. Wie sy bottels is dit? Myne? Hoekom steek jy hier weg? Sommer. Waar het jy hulle gekry? Die soet olie bottel en die twee blau bottels het ek opgetel en die kraffie het ek by Tant Gerkie gesteel. Vir wat het jy dit gedoen? omdat die kraffie die mooiste klank maak. Sy blaas op verskillende bottels. Lukas ergerlik. Wat is nou so snaaks aan bottelblaas? Dis my muziek. Ek kan a piet my vrou na aap, en ek kan soos a muis vol sing, en ek kan soos a bos tuif koer, en ek kan die groot loerie en die bos loerie na maak, en nog baie ander. Net die lawaai maker kies sikkel ek mee. Jy het gesê, jy sal my weis hoe my die bos te kom. Hoekom? Ek wil huis toe gaan, asjeblief. Jy moet ophou neek. As pa kwaad word in die oosring vat, gaat hy vir jou slaan dat jy jou nat maak. Ek het vijf shillings. Nina achterdochtig. Wat jy waar kry? As jy my wees hoe my die boste kom, sal ek jou sê waar het is. Hoeveel is a half kroon? Die halfte van vijf shillings. By Peterse brand woon een oom wat vir a half kroon een mondvleik in die dorp gekoop het. Jy kan vir jou twee koop. Vir wat wil ek twee koop? Ek het net een mond. Misschien koop ek vir my kombers. Die grootvoete het my kombers vertrap, toe pa moes neergooi en hard loop. Wat so goed is grootvoete? Nina is geskok. Weet jy dit nie? Die goed met die slurpe. Olifante. Maar eindelijk mag een mens nie hulle name hard op sê nie. Want dan hoor hulle jou, en dan denk hulle jy roep hulle, en dan jaag hulle jou. As jy vir my jou vijf shillings gee, koop ek vir my een mondvleikie en een kombers en ek wees vir jou om die pad, om by die pad te kom. Sweer jy sal my moore neem? Sweer jy sal my die vijf shillings gee? Ek sweer. Hoe ek op die dorp gaat kom om die vleikie te koop, weet ek nie, maar ek sweer. Sy blaas op haar bottel. Blaas jy nou een blaas en dan blaas ek een alleen en dan blaas ons al twee te samen. Hulle blaas, maar Lukas val altyd verkeerd in. Die lichte doof uit, muziek op, ons is voor die boshuis, Elia sit voor die deur, Bartha kom staan in die deur. Elia sê, Moet jy nie die patats in die as haal nie, Bartha? Jy weet ek hou nie van die droog gebakte patat nie, Bartha. Right, goed. So, I told you, my second refers to Nina. It is, I just want to make this a bit smaller. It's, um, the 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 nickname basically that um Lucas gave to Nina okay so she ran away he's in the forest it's his first time in the forest he's scared he doesn't know what's going on and then he keeps calling her and every time that he calls her a bird answers okay so obviously the bird that answers is Nina okay because remember later on we read that Nina can can mimic certain bird sounds and, and all of those things. So every time that she he, he hears the bird, it's Nina. Okay? Then um, as he gets all more worried and everything, then Nina comes out and he tells her, oh, you're a stupid thing, man. But she is enjoying it immensely. So she is a practical jokester. She's wild. She's weird. She's fun. She enjoys doing things like this. Okay? Then she starts to dig behind a tree, remember, to kneel on basins, and then she has four empty bottles, 
that she washes in the stream all right lucas shortly says and this stuff because he doesn't understand what this is about and nina says you'll see now she packs them out dries them and goes to sit by the bottles then he asks whose bottles it is it's hers why are you hiding it here because now if we look at lucas or benjamin rather when he was with the Kumutis, he had toys the little ships that he made and all sorts of things like that um we can see here from nina having these bottles hiding these bottles away that she doesn't have that she doesn't have things to play with and this is kind of her things that she plays with so if she would have for example taken the bottles home her mother would have probably taken it and used it for something to put in and she wouldn't have had anything okay we learn a little bit more about her because she found three of the bottles but the krafi she stole from tant Kharki, okay so she doesn't really have that um shall we say moral compass that says it's wrong to steal if she wants something she takes it okay um then when lucas is kind of getting annoyed with her like what is so funny about these bottles then she proudly says it's my music so this is her escape from all the troubles at her house she mimics the sounds of birds um, which again tells us that Nina sees the forest as a beautiful magical place um, other than her family who sees it as a place of trouble and problems and hard work and those kinds of things then Lucas is again going on about showing the road out of the forest and Nina wants to know why she doesn't understand why anyone would want to go out of the forest because she loves the forest it is beautiful and magical and wonderful for her Lucas then says he wants to go home and then she gives him a warning again. She says, you need to stop your nonsense because if dad gets angry and takes the Osrim, now Osrim, we spoke about it in the previous um, parts as well. It's basically a piece of leather that people would use to tie things together with. Um, so it's basically like a rope, but because of its leathery um, texture, they also used it as whips and things like that so obviously this means if dad takes the thing that he beats us with you are going to be in trouble because she says he's going to beat you until you pee yourself then Lucas remembers the five shillings and he uses this as a bargaining tool so she he says I've got five shillings Nina is achterdochtig meaning she's suspicious and then they go on about a montflaky, a harmonica that um, she wants to go and buy. And Lucas says, well, if I give you the five shillings, you can buy two. And she's like, why must I, why should I buy two? I only have one mouth. So again, this shows us Nina's thought pattern. Eh? She doesn't understand that what he's saying basically is you have enough money to buy two. She thinks, but I only have one mouth. So why would I want two? Um, so she wants to buy a blanket as well because remember in act uh, one scene three when um, Elias ran away from the elephants he had to throw away everything including an ele uh, uh, blanket which is um, the blanket that Nina used to use in the winter. Good. Then she talks about Grootvoeten and Lucas wants to know what Grootvoeten is because again remember he didn't grow up in the forest he doesn't know their lingo. Nina is shocked because how does he not know what Grootvoeten is and then she says it's the stuff with trunks, elephants but we're not really supposed to say their names because they hear it and then they think we're calling them and then they chase us. So this is another superstition um, of the forest. So all the time especially in the real forest people will talk about grootvoeten and not about elephants then nina starts to think and said well if you give me your five shillings and then i can go and buy the harmonica and a blanket and then i'll show you the way so they both promise he will give her the money and look at us and nina promises she will show him the way and then nina's like i don't know how i'm gonna get to town to do that but okay it's fine 
and then they start blowing on the bottles um, each one at their own time and then together so again bonding is happening here they're becoming friends all of those things then the scene changes to the house again Borsais and we are sitting with Elias and then Barta comes in through the door Elias tells Barta aren't you supposed to look at the sweet potatoes I don't like it when they are so dry so again we see here that um, Elias is very much aggressive towards Barta just like what are you doing here you're supposed to be doing this blah, 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 blah. but he's sitting doing nothing okay so we see a little bit more of his character there good we'll continue in the next video